New Mexico is set to become one of the biggest oil and gas producers in the country. The U.S. Department of the Interior identified the Permian Basin as the largest continuous oil and gas resource potential ever. Oil and natural gas development in New Mexico and across the entire United States has increased dramatically over the last decade. Since 2007, oil and gas production has increased by over 250% on public lands in New Mexico. This fossil fuel boom has left communities with major pollution problems, lingering threats to public health, and significant damage to historical and sacred sites. Throughout New Mexico, communities live under invisible clouds of methane and other chemicals released by oil and gas development in the San Juan and Permian basins. Rural communities like the town of Counselor, New Mexico, are feeling these impacts firsthand. When you come here and you look at it, you think, well, there's just uh, uh, tanks there. And then as soon as you look through the, the equipment, you see that there's a plume of, of, of methane that's just coming out and gases that are just coming out and spreading across the sky. It's just out, unbelievable. It's outrageous. We've lost 25% of our carbon emissions uh, are created on public lands. And, 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 and that's because we don't have enough renewable energy projects on public lands, and we have way too many gas and oil projects on public lands. Collection, storage, and processing equipment at oil and gas sites routinely leak methane and other harmful chemicals, such as benzene, toluene, and hydrogen sulfide, into the atmosphere. The Environmental Protection Agency identifies these as hazardous air pollutants. Oil and gas development doesn't just threaten public health. It threatens to erase or disfigure indigenous heritage and culture. The expansion of oil and gas development threatens sacred sites in the greater Chaco Canyon area, part of which is already designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's hard to put in words how important Chaco is to us as Pueblo people, but the greater Chaco region sits the top we sought after oil field, and there's where the problem lies. Chaco Canyon and the greater Chaco region is deeply rooted in our collective memory. It is, in fact, an extension of our ancestral homelands. Chaco Canyon contains all of the cultural resources that continue to stay to sustain us as Hakama people today. Over time, emissions can damage the sensitive structures and vulnerable cultural artifacts within the Chaco region. Trump administration officials have repeatedly proposed additional leasing just outside the boundaries of Chaco Canyon. The only thing to make them back down so far has been strong local opposition. Our public lands, our historical resources, our antiquities, our cultural resources should not be up for sale to the highest bidder. They need to be protected and they need to be conserved. The methane pollution generated by oil and gas operations isn't just environmentally destructive. It's also deeply economically wasteful. Companies will intentionally burn natural gas as a waste product from oil extraction. Flares from wells burning off unused natural gas light up the night sky for miles. A recent analysis showed that oil and gas operations in New Mexico emit more than 1 million tons of methane every year and equals 275 million in wasted natural gas annually. Heavy fossil fuel development in New Mexico and across the United States contributes to air pollution that makes Americans sick. It hastens climate change. It undermines protections for Native American tribes and sacred sites. The reality is that it's not clean and it's not sustainable. The Trump administration has increased public health risks by gutting regulations and opening vast new areas to oil and gas drilling. As long as an industry-first, climate-denying president sits in the White House, public lands won't be part of the solution they'll be a big part of the problem. It's time for Congress to advance legislation that protects people's health and the places and landscapes they value. That's what we're doing at the Natural Resources Committee. We hope you'll join us in the fight to make our lands, our air, our waters safe for the public and safe for the planet once again.